Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Another New England beer. This is Back East Brewing. This is their Palette Mallet, which is a uh, double IPA. This one comes in at 8.6%. I don't have an IBUs listed for this. This was sent to me uh, by Michael and Terry. And a matter of fact, Michael told me that, uh, that Terry had actually picked this one up for me. So thank you, Terry. I do appreciate it. Uh, uh, he said that this was her favorite double IPA. Well, uh, maybe it'll become my favorite I double IPA. I can't get these beers down here in Virginia, guys. So thanks to the, the both of them for, for gathering up a few beers from up there and sending them down to me. I do appreciate it. Uh, the uh, IBUs are not listed here on this one, so I don't have it. This is uh, part of their Hammer of the God series. And uh, on the front of the can it says, Find your way back, back east. Well, that's where we're at. We're we're in the east. Uh, so, uh, Palo Mato is our American Double IPA. It's forged with solid yet dry malt foundation and smacked with four types of brash American hops. This beer is brewed to hammer your palate with plenty of hoppy goodness. And uh, pretty close to what the commercial description here is. Uh, it says, Palo Mato is back east's newest beer and American Double IPA. This is the first beer in the Hammer of the God series. Forged with a solid yet dry malt foundation and a smack with four types of brash American hops, Palette Mallet will whack your taste buds with loads of hot, wholesome hop goodness. So, I'm a hop head. I really like these kind of beers too, guys. Uh, the uh, food pranks for this beer. The, uh, the cuisine is your typical uh, IPA. A lot of the times the double IPAs will vary between the... Uh, Curried in the tie to the barbecue once it gets to the uh, to the double IPA, IPA category. So it says here, cuisine is barbecue. The cheeses are pepper, Monterey pepper, jack, sharp, blue, cheddar, more pungent cheeses. And the meat is game, grilled meat, and salmon. Glass for it. Snip for tulip, oversized wine glass. I brought out the double glass for this one. And and it says here it can be cellared under the proper conditions. I wouldn't try to sell her uh, a double IPA. So. Uh, Unless it's super boozy, there's no reason to. The hops are going to fade if you do. And it doesn't have a date on it. Uh, there is no dating on it, so the, I hate to see that a lot of times. Uh, whether they're dating the four-pack, six-pack, or a case, or however, if you're buying singles, you have no idea, guys. So Into the glass we go. Looks pretty clear coming out of the can. Mallet. So that's going to hammer your palate. Hammer of the gods. Good uh, finger of head on that one. Over into the light. I can see the ball right through it. It's a very clear beer. A lot of bubbles streaming up, reinforcing that off white head. It looks really good in the glass, guys. Let's get a nose on it. Oh, yes. Pine grapefruit. Very citrusy. Maybe some mango or, or oranges in there. It smells very, very good. Very, 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 very good. Mm, mm, mm. And we're down to about a finger of head on that one. Looks very good in the glass. So let's, uh, let's give it a taste. Let's give it on. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Terry and Michael. Thank you, guys. I do appreciate it. Very smooth drinking. 
Very easy drinking for an 8.6 percenter. This thing could get you in trouble if you try to drink a whole four pack or a six pack of these. I don't know if whether it comes in a four or six. A lot of times when it gets to the double IPAs or, or the, uh, the Imperial Stouts, they'll only put it in a four pack instead of a six pack. So they, it costs a little bit more money to make something with a little more ABV. And once they, even if they do put it in six packs to start off with, uh, a lot of times they'll end up, after they do it a couple of years, they'll drop it back to the four pack. Uh, because they know that they got the uh, fan base that'll, that's going to buy the beer and they can make uh, just as much money on a four pack as they can a six pack once they're established. So, sucks, but that's how it is in the real world, guys. Mm. Wonderful aroma on this. Wonderful. Mm. That, is, that is tasty. Very nice slicing and sweeping on the glass. It is so balanced. I mean, there's the sweetness and the bitterness on the back end work very, very well together on this one. Now, like I said, it's so easy drinking, even though it's eight point six, almost nine percent. You could get in trouble. I mean, you really could. You sit down and try to drink a six pack of these. You gonna you gonna have buzz going on. Ain't no doubt about it. Ain't no doubt about it. But anyway, let's. Uh, let it warm up just a little bit and let her taste it. It's right out of the fridge at 40 degrees and see where this one ends up. But it seems to be pretty impressive so far. I love it when I get beer mail packages and they are awesome beers like the ones that uh, Michael and Terry have sent. This is number two out of the package of four. The first two here that seems to be pretty impressive. So uh, there are some great beers being made all over the country and all over the world as far as that's concerned. But the American style. Uh, a lot of these breweries are really top-notch. Uh, uh, whether they've been in business for 20 years or they've been in business for 20 months, uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of the times these new breweries start off with something very transitional, something that uh, they're trying to get the fan base uh, the, that are drinking the macro lagers, the Miller Bud and Coors people to drink. And then again, some of these people want to step outside and they want to make a, an impressive beer that the true craft beer drinkers are going to love. So, and uh, that's probably where this is going. And the one we did yesterday was pretty impressive. The only plus I got, they ain't got no damn data on them. So, uh, let's see where this one ends up. We're going to sip on it for a little bit and let her taste it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here, and I've been enjoying this for probably about 35, 40 minutes, maybe even 45 minutes. Very nice double IPA, very balanced, a lot of citrusiness going in there, and the pine, the grapefruit, uh, pretty damn tasty. And some mango, some lighter fruit, maybe some pears or apples, final chug. Wow, very, very tasty guys, very, very tasty. This is just like the last one that uh, that uh, uh, Michael and, uh, and Terry had, had sent down to me from Connecticut. Very, very tasty. The, yesterday's was an IPA. This is a double IPA. Both very tasty beers. As far as I'm concerned, this is a 9 out of 10, guys, but it doesn't have a date on the can. But that being said, it gets the 8 for me, just like yesterday's beer did. Very tasty beers, but they have to date these individual cans. If you're gonna get, if you're gonna get a nine or a ten from me, you're gonna have to have a date on your can and bottle. That's that's just my OCD. This may be a ten beer to you, and I won't argue with that whatsoever. But if for my dollar, if I'm going into a beer store and and uh, looking at the bottle for a date or the can for a date, even if it's a ten beer, if it doesn't have that date on there, how am I gonna know how old that beer is? So. Uh, it's very tasty. Uh, if they're dating the six pack or, or, or the case, uh, they need to go that extra step and put that date right here on the bottom of the can. Uh, both yesterday's beer and today's beers were in cans, so it's easier to put that on there without it smudging off, like I said earlier. So uh, I, it's, it's just me, guys. Uh, uh, this is a very tasty beer. Uh, it's a nine beer, it really is, but I'm not going to give it that nine because it doesn't have a date on it. It's very, very tasty. I think Michael said this was uh, Terry's favorite uh, double IPA. I can see that. I mean, it is, it is pretty freaking awesome. I mean, it, it is awesome. Uh, 
if, if it had a date on it, I would be torn between a 9 and a 10. That's that good. It's on the upper 9 scale. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to step up to the plate and give it to 9 because it doesn't have that date on it. If it had the date on it, I, I'd be torn between a 9 and a 10. So it's that good. If it had a date on it, we're looking at a, probably a 97 or a 98 out of the scale. But since it doesn't have a date, I'm going to give it probably a 92 or a 93. Maybe even a 94, but it's not quite up there to me. I mean, probably a 93 would probably what, what I would give this one. But it's very tasty. It's an awesome beer. If you know you're getting it fresh or you're getting it at the brewery uh, or, or you're buying a whole six pack and it's got a stamp on it or I, even if you're buying a whole case and it's got it on it, you know how fresh it is. But if, if, if it doesn't have a date on any of that, like this can does not, you don't know. And you're just taking your chances that, that it is fresh uh, and, and not old. And the beer craft, I don't know how they all are up there in Connecticut, but the stores around here... Uh, some of the older ones now. We we do have a new one here, and uh, they're getting uh, they're getting some good uh, fresh beers. But still, they're only limited to what the distributor is going to send them. I mean, even if they say, "Well, we just got this in yesterday," it could have sat at the warehouse as a distributor for a year. I mean, really, like uh, the one from Kroger's that I got last week uh, or the beginning of the week. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm sure DeQual is not happy about. Uh, that beer being sold and it was put in the bottle back in April so we're not going to get back into that but I'm, I, my OCD tells me it needs to have a date on it so uh, especially an IPA you know, and doesn't have one on it but Michael Terry thanks so much for sending the sending those beers down to me yesterday's and today's were both very delicious I just wish they would take the extra step and date the bottom of the can so we're gonna leave it there and I'm gonna ramble on about that uh, Beer Advocate says this is a 90 in the outstanding range. It is an outstanding beer. It is very, very tasty. Definitely worth picking up if you can get your hands on this, guys. Uh, and over to Rate Beer, it just says no score requires more ratings. This is a new offering from, from them, evidently. So uh, they need to they need to continue doing this, but they need, also need to get them a dating machine so they can date each one of these cans. So. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up from this one. If you've had this one from uh, Back East Brewing, this is their Palette Mallet. It's damn tasty, damn worthy of, of picking up. So, uh, if you have it, let me know what you think, guys, and let's see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See everybody then.